While railways first appeared in Ireland in the 1830s, it was the 1870s before one was constructed through West County Waterford. Before this, there were railways linking Cork to Mallow and Cork to Yall, but nothing to link Cork to Waterford or Rosslare, unless you travelled to Limerick Junction. The Times of London announced on Monday the 28th of July 1862 that the Cork, Fermoy and Waterford Company proposed to construct a railway from Waterford to Dungarvan, Capoquin, Lismore, Fermoy and Rathcormac to the Cork and Queenstown Railway at a cost of £8,000 per mile and the Grand Jury of the County of Waterford have passed resolutions approving the project. At this rate, the cost of the line was £1,800 more per mile than the line between Fermoy and Mallow was. This was due in part to the number of bridges which had to be built across four rivers, including two at Capoquin. The structure known to this day as the Red Bridge was surely one of the most unique railway bridges to be constructed anywhere in Ireland, comprising 12 arches, some in stone and others in concrete and iron. The iron technology, riveting and welding implied on the Red Bridge bear a striking resemblance to the methods used in the construction of the Eiffel Tower in Paris a decade later. The Red Bridge had a huge impact on Capoquin. Construction of the railway line required the demolition of over 12 houses in Cook Street and obviously the building of a new railway station and gate lodge. The Glensheelan River had to be diverted to meet the black water some 200 meters further south than it did in order to erect the embankment carrying the line to the bridge on the eastern side. Tall masted ships could no longer pass up to the quayside in Capoquin itself. Once the bridge opened in 1878, so a new steamer's quay had to be built downriver. The railway brought trade and tourists to Capoquin in large numbers and also carried away many local people to emigrant ships up to the mid 20th century. Ultimately, the growth of modern transport and a short-sighted plan pro-rationalization led to the closure of the railway line between Waterford and Mallow and with it the closure of the Red Bridge in 1967.